Well, it has been a long time since I've done a what is on my Nintendo Switch tour, so I figured I would walk you all through what has been added to my Switch since my last video, and well, that was quite a while ago. So let's go over some of the games that I'm playing currently on my Nintendo Switch, starting off with my favorite game, Monster Hunter Rise. This game is incredible. For those that maybe have never played Monster Hunter before, it's pretty self-explanatory. You start off as a hunter, and you hunt down monsters. It's that simple. Now, the game is broken up to where you start the game, you pick your hunter, you create your hunter, and you go on these easier sets of hunts to hunt down these monsters, use their, <laughs> well, use them for armor, for weapons, things of that nature, and kind of customize your character to really get the most out of your hunter and keep making them more and more powerful. So the more tough monsters you take down, the more materials you get from them to make really cool looking and just powerful uh, pieces of gear. It's a satisfying gameplay loop that may seem redundant to some at first glance, but I can assure you the game picks up in complexity and it's just a blast to play. Plus the multiplayer is a lot of fun. I've actually enjoyed playing with both randoms and some friends uh, here lately. So Monster Hunter Rise is kind of the game that I've been playing the most here lately. On to the next one with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, of course, with Pyra and Mithra being added to the Fighter Pass. I, you know, I always jump back in when there's a new fighter. And here's the thing with Super Smash Bros. I enjoy Super Smash Bros. in small little bits. I, it's not a game I can play for hours on end, especially solo. And I don't particularly play it online because, well, I don't play against people who are better than me because I like to enjoy my time playing games. So Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is still fun, uh, but it's not one that I get into a whole lot. If you play Super Smash Bros., let me know who your favorite character is and I don't know, what's the trick to really getting the most out of the game? Up next is Bravely Default 2. Now here's the thing with Bravely Default 2. I like just about everything that this game has going on, with the exception of how the game looks. I, maybe this is just me, y'all let me know in the comments, but the way that the characters look just, it feels off to me in a, in a weird way. And maybe that's just me, maybe I'm totally just like judging the art style a little too harshly, but as you watch the footage of this game, you let me know. Does the game look weird to you? Do the character designs look weird? Does the art style look weird? Maybe it's just me. That aside though, I like the more streamlined, kind of light story. It's very reminiscent of classic Final Fantasy games, which are some of my favorite JRPGs. Final Fantasy IV specifically is at the number one spot. And I love the combat. Comment? The combat of just the whole brave default you use default to guard and block against attacks and that also banks a turn that you can use to activate uh, brave later on and kind of pull off multiple turns in one turn if that makes sense and so it's fun i like the combat it reminds me a lot of octopath traveler and it's just a lot of fun the only problem is i don't know if if there's something going on with me in, in the mood that i'm in right now when it comes to games because normally I love JRPGs, and for those that have listened to the podcast for years now, you know that I love me some Persona games. So, it, when I when I was playing Bravely Default 2, I put about 10 hours into it, and I was like, I don't know if I'm feeling this right now. Which is kind of a bummer, because I typically love JRPGs, but, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just not in the mood for JRPGs right now. And what I'm feeling is something more like Monster Hunter Rise. Up next is one that you probably have not heard of, especially if you haven't watched the anime. Robotech was a mech anime from the 80s, I believe, that was pretty popular. Maybe it might be earlier than the 80s now that I think about it, but regardless, essentially what this game is, is it's a um, side-scrolling shoot-em-up where you can transform from your fighter jet to your robot, and then you have the in-between stage as well. And it's... It's fun, like, I guess it depends on the kind of gamer you are. If you like shmups, you'll you'll probably enjoy this, especially if you like Robotech. But I think if this game did not have Robotech painted all over it, I don't know that it would be that great. But that's just my opinion. Robotech was a, a cartoon, well, anime to be more specific, 
that I watched quite a bit growing up and really enjoyed it. So when I saw that this was getting an HD edition on the Switch, I jumped on it immediately. So I enjoy it, but not everybody else will. Now this next one, Ring Fit Adventure. This one, I gotta admit, can be quite a workout, but maybe that's just a testament to how out of shape I am. So the cool thing about Ring Fit Adventure is that you can kind of customize it and do whatever you want. If you wanna do some light aerobics or some light exercise, you can do that. And especially as we're all kind of quarantining and things like that, uh, it's kind of cool because then you don't have to go to a gym and have anxiety about people judging you for maybe not doing squats properly. I don't know. But it's been fun. I've enjoyed actually doing even the story mode and just going through and trying out different uh, workout routines and things like that. It's it's a surprisingly good workout and it's surprisingly fun at the same time. Uh, I never played Wii Fit on the Wii, but I imagine it was probably about as much fun as this is, if not a little bit more. Unfortunately, I'm not as consistent uh, with it as I would have liked to have been. Also been dabbling in some Super Mario 3D World, Bowser's Fury as well. I haven't tried out Bowser's Fury just yet, but Super Mario 3D World was actually a game that I played quite a bit of on the Wii U. Me and my wife really loved Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U. We just never finished it, but we did enjoy the co-op. We did enjoy playing it, and this is one that we... Well, I'm playing solo. She's not She's not really into playing games at the moment, at least not Mario. She's more into Assassin's Creed Valhalla right now. But this has been fun to kind of revisit and to get a little bit further into the game on and just kind of see what really the game has to offer. Looking forward to Bowser's Fury just because I've seen the videos and stuff of there's a giant Bowser and then a giant cat Super Saiyan Mario. And I'm like, that just sounds cool. This next one, Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection... We, uh, we don't need to talk about uh, Francisco over at Retro Rewind if you're watching this. You know why. This game is hard. It's brutal. This is the bane of my gaming existence. I'm not going to talk about it. Did finish up Super Mario 3D All-Stars, though, and managed to finish all of those games in the collection for the very first time. Now, unfortunately, you can't really get this game anymore unless you go to eBay and spend way too much money on it. I finished Super Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy for the first time, and I gotta say, this is probably gonna get me some hate in the comments, Super Mario 64 hasn't aged well, and neither has Sunshine, and Galaxy is probably the best one in this whole collection, in my opinion. I think it's the one that has aged the best but the one that i think is probably the worst in this collection is sunshine because the camera is is a mess i would argue the camera is worse than 64 and it's just in the levels where you the the flood the back water backpack is taken away it really kind of highlights what's wrong with this game and it just i don't think it controls really well but y'all that are watching this you let me know down in the comments what you think of these three games and which one you think is the best also downloaded Breath of the Wild because I was getting an itch to play the game again, and uh, then I never played it, so I just let it sit on my my front page uh, and look gorgeous. And when people are looking through my Switch, they're like, "Oh yeah, Breath of the Wild." It's like I do. You know, I beat it once, and I was like, "I'm done." Did download the Project Triangle Strategy, and really, the, at this point now, this is pretty much the games that I've downloaded and haven't played yet. So <laughs> I don't know how the demo for this is. I don't know how Paper Mario: The Origami King is. I just it is what it is. Abraxia 2, I guess I should say about this. This is a game I have actually played. I played it on the PlayStation uh, 5 and got the Platinum Trophy for it. If you are curious as to what my thoughts on this game are, uh, hit this little card button that just pops up here in the corner and check out my full review of the game uh, here on the channel. Really cool game, though. Highly recommend it, especially if you love shoot-em-ups. And now we get into what else is on my Nintendo Switch. I'm not going to talk about every game in here because... <laughs> kind of a lot of games but the one thing I will talk about is Animal Crossing New Horizons this is a game that I fell out of love with late last year and that's kind of a bummer because I wish I was still playing it you know this game came out at the right time last year right when COVID was going on quarantines were going on lockdowns were going on so this was the perfect getaway game and uh you know, I gotta say, I, I still really enjoy this game. I haven't, I haven't come to the point where I want to delete it off my Switch yet because I just have so many fond memories of Animal Crossing, uh, just visiting my island and hanging out with the villagers. Good times, good times. I do want to highlight this one too: Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics. If you or you know maybe you're married and your spouse like if you if, if you watching this are into 
board games at all, check this out. Trust me, it is well worth the money. There's 51 classic games on there. They're great. I think my favorite one is uh, Moncala, which is one that me and my wife play a lot. Uh, so if you're familiar with that, that's on there. There's a lot of cool games on there. So definitely uh, check it out. But as you can see, I've got a wide variety of games on here. I did get the Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and the Blade of Light uh, on here before that got taken off of the eShop as well. And so I actually got the special edition for this. So I have the art book and uh, the kind of recreated NES cartridge for it as well. So it's pretty cool. I did play it for a little bit, and man... It just shows how much the new Fire Emblem games have babied me at this point. This game is is more, it, it's hard, <laughs> but it, it's the OG. It's the one that started it, started it all. But I've got a few other games on here. You, as I scroll through here, you can take a look at them, see if there's any games on here that you've played, and let me know uh, which ones I should play next or which ones are your favorite as well. So you can see a lot of different games here. Pikmin 3 Deluxe, special shout out to that game. I did really enjoy that one that was a great game that i'm glad got to see some new life on the switch and then of course scott pilgrim scott pilgrim is one of my favorite movies of all time i love the comics the game even though it's brutally hard i love playing it obviously because i have streets of rage 4 on there as well and so those are the games that are on my nintendo switch i admit some of these i've talked about on the podcast some of these i haven't talked about on the podcast but if there are any games on here that you've seen that you are enjoying, let me know down in the comments. What are you playing on your Nintendo Switch? Because this is what I'm playing. I'd love to know what you're playing. Let me know in the comments. Let's connect and maybe uh, maybe let's be some friends. Let's be be some friends. Let's be friends uh, on the Nintendo Switch. Maybe we can play some Super Smash Brothers or Monster Hunter here soon. But hey, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for checking out what's on my Nintendo Switch. If you liked what you saw here, maybe consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel turning the bell icon on so you never miss an upload. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.